You saw it live right here on News 6, a Falcon 9 rocket lifting off from launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. On board, another batch of 60 Starlink satellites. And as News 6's Mark Lehman explains, SpaceX is hoping to send up even more satellites in the future. Out here along the edge of the Indian River, I can tell you it was very bright and we were feeling the heat for this morning's launch. Still, folks were excited to see the rocket up close and what's shaping up to be a busy time of year for SpaceX. Whoa! I've never seen space before. <laughs> <laughs> Little three-year-old Kara Surratt getting a front row seat for the Falcon 9 launch. It was like, like, <sighs> Her family seeing liftoff up close for the first time in what became an educational experience. It's one thing to read about stuff in books, but another thing to be able to, to see a rocket launch in person. SpaceX launching another 60 Starlink satellites, bringing its Starlink constellation to more than 700. The space company hoping to expand that number more than 50 fold with the eventual goal of bringing internet to remote parts of the world. It's pretty exciting overall, I think, uh, expanding access to uh, utilities like internet services just for educational reasons. And less than an hour after landing the rocket's first stage, SpaceX sent this tweet saying tests of the Starlink network show download speeds fast enough to stream multiple HD movies with bandwidth to spare. Thursday's launch being the second this week for SpaceX with at least one more scheduled before the end of the month. Yeah, I think the frequency is, is great and um, I look forward to being able to, being able to see some more. In Titusville, Mark Lehman getting results, New 6.